Today is definitely a very inspiring day for me. Thank you for giving me a chance to visit this beautiful city and the amazing people, amazing doers here. It took 10 years for me to understand the benefits of solitude and the advantage of solidarity. Thank you for taking this up. 2010, I started Mission Green with the intention to plant one crore trees in Mumbai, in and around. 10 years, I worked hard, left my job into HR, focused totally in plantation. But I miserably failed. Then, when the thought of solidarity came, I understood that individual, you learn, but as a team, you succeed. And that's why I'm here to explain you what I did and what we have to do together, work as a team for our sustainable future. This is not about what I have achieved, but it's all about what we can do together for our good life experience. Let me uh, first talk about the background and why you all need to come together. We all know about climate talks. Everywhere we talk about climate. We all know the challenges. We are all well aware of. We all know climate action means what we need to do. Ten years when I had been working with a very simple word called trees. I realized that tree is everything. It is about what we are breathing. It is about what we are eating. It is about education. It, it is about food. It is about clothing. It is about shelter. Everything is connected to trees. There is a situation which we are trying to address. First is what we are supposed to eat. The quality of food which we are supposed to eat, the nutrition that we are supposed to consume for good health, for good memory, as I always say, for a good life experience. But that nutrition in our food is declining every day. It is not just about planting a tree, but understanding why. The nutrition is decreasing because we totally depend upon paddy based food cycle, something which is coming from the top soil of the land around us. We have to cut trees to grow paddies, rice, wheat and other products, commodities like sugar, cotton. Few of the countries in the world are very smart. They have outsourced these things to India, which take huge water. Just to grow one kilogram of rice, it takes a minimum 6,000 liters of water. Just to grow one kilogram of cotton, a cotton t-shirt that I'm wearing, it would take minimum 9,000 liters of water. Just do some research and you will be surprised to the situation. Paddy based, topsoil based cultivation, the soil quality is gone. Pesticides, insecticides, chemical based fertilizers, whatever is grown, we all know what we are eating, is something not good for us. It is important to take up a cultivation process which is more of fruit based, which will bring the nutrition from the subsoil level, something which is 3 feet, 4 feet, 6 feet down the topsoil. So the big trees, which is like fruit trees, will bring the fruits, bring the nutrition from the subsoil, they'll come out as fruits or the tree leaves. And if that something we consume in good quantity, as important part of our daily diet, it will give us the nutrition that we need. Now, the other reflection is the big population that this entire world is growing on. I think we are the leaders today. We have to feed them. It is not that easy to control population. 
but what we eat is something we can control. We need more farmland. We need more farmers. Where will the land come from? So it's time that we switch from paddy based again to fruit based. So we have to encourage our farmers to stop paddy. And a part of the land should become fruit based cultivation. So we thought of let's talk about, let's go to the farmers and understand what is it that would love to grow. And also to all of us, what is it that we love to eat? Then the idea came of mango. World's most exported fruit is mango. India consumes maximum quantity of mangoes, but we are not the biggest exporter. 90% of the land across the nation, they grow mango well. Mango is a very beautiful biodiversity tree because all types of birds, animals, insects, squirrels, everyone loves to live in a mango and it's an evergreen plant. Now the idea of solidarity comes. How do we make sure that this goes to the entire country? How can we become the fruit capital of the world? In fact, the fruit country of the world. But if we get the success of converting our food cycle, our food habits and enough fruit to eat, this world will be a better place for all of us. So we came up with Mission Mango, where step one was to grow so many mango trees. Step two was to develop, encourage the farmers to grow mango trees. And step three is to create market for mangoes. One more biggest aspect of mango is being, it sounds good, but when as a farmer, when we are planting mango, we have to plant 10 more variety of trees to support a mango tree. So for biodiversity, for a green environment, our livelihood based on green economy, all comes together. We started a very beautiful journey four years ago with solidarity in mind. 6,000 people from across India started giving us the seeds of mango. Because it's difficult to get a very good quality of seed because if you go to a factory, they, nerf, they twist it so hard that the seed inside the mango shell, it dies. We had to request people that when you are enjoying mango and if you love that mango, that's so sweet and amazing mm, feeling, you please wash it, dry it and send it to us. We received 50,000 seeds three years ago. Out, out of this 50,000 seeds, when we put it in the nursery, only 10% germinated. Because there is a scientific reason. I think I should talk about it. That when we are plucking mango commercially, they are very young. They are not well grown. It comes to our plate, it is yellow. But when we pluck, it is green. So the embryo, the seed is not matured enough to create new plant. So we know that to grow 10,000 trees, we need 50,000 seeds. Then we had a target of 1 lakh mango trees. Again, last year we came up with the campaign with a lot of social media influencers. We received 3 lakh mango seeds from people. We went to the farmers after they become one year, we give it to them, we gift it to them. They had been growing it and this year, the first year which we gave around 10,000 seeds, the 10,000 plants, they, are have, they have started giving fruits. The farmers are very happy. We experimented it in the Thane district of Maharashtra because we have farmer suicide there. That's one of the very beautiful way of stopping farmers from suicide because their farming will not depend upon water. Because every time if you are depending only on paddy based cultivation rice, you all depend upon water and many other aspects. But the tree based, even if, if it's a drought, even the tree is dead, you cut the tree, sell the wood, you still have enough money in the worst situation. Second year, we achieved 24,000 trees, we mango trees been planted and the support system. And this year we went to people again, we received 6 lakhs mango seeds from across India with 20,000 more, 20,000 citizens participating from across India and in our nursery, 7 of them across around Mumbai, right now more than 1 lakh trees are growing and after 1 year we are going to hand it over to people.
This is well identified by the Ministry of Environment and Climate Change in New Delhi. They love it and they have told me now you have to take it to every city, every state possible. Wherever there are farmers, we have to develop these kind of nurseries. We have to get company support, corporate support, citizens support as a solidarity. Let us get, get the seeds together. Let us identify new nurseries together. Encourage them to grow high yield, grafted, best quality and help a farmer gift them so that they grow food based and we get enough fruits to eat. Before we go for mission fruit to eat, we need a vision to grow lots of fruit trees, grow lot of fruits because then the demand and supply will be balanced. With the hope, I request all of you to think on this and wherever, whenever possible, encourage fruit-based cultivation, support campaigns like Mission Mumbai, Mission Mango, and NGOs like me, like Mission Green. Help achieve solidarity with fruit-based cultivation and consumption. Thank you so much.